Pakistan has admitted that arrested Mumbai attacker Kasab is its citizen. The Foreign Office in Islamabad has confirmed Kasab is indeed a Pakistani national and the first casualty of the whole episode is the Pakistan National Security Advisor Muhammad Ali Durrani who was sacked by the government. After being in denial mode for weeks, Pakistan has finally accepted Ajmal Kasab as its citizen. First, it was National Security Advisor Muhammad Ali Durrani who gave the information. The top security official, uh, his exact words was uh, that, alas, it has been established that Admiral Kasab is a Pakistani. That was his exact quote. And uh, then uh, when I asked uh, about uh, the counselor access, and uh, he said that, uh, like no other person before, Admiral Kasab has damaged Pakistan's reputation. Later, it was Information Minister Shehri Rahman who gave this confirmation on Kasab to the foreign media through an SMS. But the drama on Kasab's identity continued through Wednesday evening after reports in Pakistani media quoted unnamed officials as accepting Kasab's identity. A quick denial came from Foreign Secretary Salman Bashir. Hours later, the Pakistan Foreign Ministry put it all to rest. Foreign Office spokesman Mohammad Sadiq cited a preliminary investigation to say that Kasab is a Pakistani national. But the day's drama cost Durrani his job. The National Security Advisor was sacked as officials said that he did not take the Prime Minister or the President into confidence before revealing Kasab's identity. Pakistan's acceptance of Kasab's identity comes after New Delhi gave Islamabad evidence about Pakistan's links to the Mumbai terror attacks. Pakistan, however, sought to suggest that Kasab had no links to any official agencies. Bureau Report, News X. Meanwhile, New Delhi maintained diplomatic pressure on Pakistan and rejected U.S.'s plea for joint investigation. The Ministry of External Affairs witnessed hectic political and diplomatic activity all through Wednesday. Not only did U.S. Ambassador David Mulford have discussions with External Affairs Minister Pranam Mukherjee, ambassadors from UK, Israel and Croatia also paid a visit. The meetings come on the heels of similar parlays with diplomats of various countries during which India has shared the evidence it has gathered on the involvement of elements in Pakistan in the Mumbai attacks. On Wednesday, India questioned how Pakistan could have rejected the Indian evidence within 24 hours of receiving it. New Delhi also rejected a joint investigation with Pakistan as proposed by the U.S. Joint investigations would be meaningful only. First, Pakistan must demonstrate its commitment to act against those organizations which have been named and responsible for perpetrating this dastardly attack in Mumbai and secondly to accept that they were all Pakistani nationals and not remain in a state of constant denial. As India took the diplomacy battle against Pakistan to a different level, some internal political developments came as an irritant. Even as foreign envoys trooped into South Bloc, Samajwadi party leader Amar Singh met Pranab to express his party's resentment at the way the government had handled the situation. We have not yet made a decision on withdrawal of support from UPA, but most leaders of our party are in favor of the move. The threat could be something the government could do without. Apart from the minor intrusion by Amar Singh, it was business as usual at the foreign ministry as India kept up diplomatic pressure on Pakistan. Pranam Mukherjee's office on Wednesday remained a hub of activity, both political and diplomatic. And even as Pakistan continued to deny the evidence provided by India, India maintained its tough stand on its neighbouring country, asking it to stop living in denial. With camera person Nishant, Shutabopal, NewsX, New Delhi. Another big story this time from the world of business. One of India's iconic IT companies, Satyam Computers, now finds itself in the mess of the country's biggest corporate fraud. Its founder, Ramalinga Raju, has confessed that accounts were fudged. Soon, the company's stocks fell by 77% on Dalal Street. Trading of Satyam on the New York Stock